happy Friday. Happy Friday. Welcome to Speak Easy. The Speak Easy. The Easy Speaking. So BuzzFeed.com released this article and it's called Bartenders are Sharing Stereotypes They Assign to Popular Drink Orders and I don't know whether to laugh or cry. Oh, I saw the headline, but I didn't read it. And I, some of them are really funny. <laughs> so, so okay, this one is margarita. Oh, no. That's, that's my drink today. <laughs> Old ladies that want to party usually start with margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, vodka martinis are just fancy drunks. Mm. <laughs> this one's cute. IPA. IPA drinkers are bearded dads who want to ask 15 questions and try 15 samples. <laughs> Tequila shot. I don't have work tomorrow. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Scotch and water. You're over 50 with heart issues. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, this one's funny because this is something I would totally order, but... Um, vodka soda with a splash of cranberry, which is good, right? Mm -hmm. Totally Vodka good. soda with a splash of cran will either be an obnoxious white girl or a slender <laughs> gay man. <laughs> I don't know which category I fall into. Um, Neither. And a Cosmo is a person who's al almost certainly a pain in the ass. Oh, that's funny. Jack and Coke. You'll be fighting someone in a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> Their whole bunch, you guys should look it up. It's really cute. Oh man, those are really good. I like that. But mm. what is it we're drinking today? So we're, I want to. We're not drinking any of the oh. above that I oh. spoke of. <laughs> what What is your drink, and what do the bartenders say about that? <laughs> well, it's not on the list. But Ooh, okay. My son's friend's mom, who is from Colombia, recommended this booze, this alcohol called Aguardiente. Mm. Mm. Yes. It's made from sugar cane. It's one of the sugar cane families, but it has that licorice, ouzo ish kind of mm -hmm. taste yeah, to yeah. It, aftertaste to it. So I bought it. First thing I asked was, well, how do I drink it? She said, well, you just shoot it. What are you talking about? Do I need to come over and show you how it's done? <laughs> I said, okay, fine, we will, but not today. Um, <laughs> and uh, so I just looked up some cocktails. To make with it and one of the cocktails is called poncha and poncha is really you know those vacation beautiful vacation places this is what you drink ponchas mm, and what it. it is is it's very citrusy and that it has like any kind of cane brandy in it right so you could do rum or you could do cachaca oh okay or you could do aguardiente i mixed it in with fresh orange juice and fresh lemon juice. I did three oranges, three lemons, and by right with that, I was supposed to put three cups of aguardiente into it, but I only put one cup because I need to get to other things tonight. <laughs> so, um, so I put one cup, but apparently you can go much stronger. And then I put about seven or eight tablespoons of honey. Initially, I put six and then I did it to taste, and I'll tell you why. And Anna, if you're listening, I'm sorry. I just don't like aguardiente. I just don't oh. like it. I would totally go with cachaca on this one. Um, but I did promise her that I would finish the bottle with her, and so I will keep to <laughs> oh my no. promise. Oh but no. I, uh, I probably would never buy this bottle again, this booze again. Ah. However, it's not, it's really nice with the honey and the orange and the lemon. And it, apparently it's really good for cold season. When you have a cold, <laughs> this is what your loving wife or loving husband makes you. Of course. <laughs> well, okay. Okay. So a few weeks ago slash months ago, mm -hmm. My husband and I went out to Norley's Authentic Colombian Street Food down mm -hmm. in Inglewood in Calgary, and they had aguardiente on their menu. And so even though I don't generally drink anything, I had to order some and I was sipping it and I really loved it because you oh. know I love licorice. licorice. Yeah. Oh, okay. I okay. loved that it was like a, it reminded me of the cachaca. Yeah. So I've actually actually had aguardiente. Or well, maybe we'll invite you over for the drink. I was going to say, you should Unfortunately, join. I probably will just we'll come and drink. watch. Yeah. 
That's fair enough. Wait, she'll sip one shot in the same time that you and Anna are finishing the bottle. Finishing the bottle. Um, <laughs> so you have a bottle lying around because your Colombian friend told you it was a good idea. This is a great way to drink it. <laughs> with Careful with those juice. Colombian friends. That's right. I don't mind it, although I, you know I'm not a big fan of li the licorice flavor, but there's enough citrus with it. Yes. To balance it out although i could with cachaca that would be mm -hmm. amazing yeah and easy to make you just squeeze some lemons oranges and honey you always have honey in your pantry right it's a nice summer drink mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i added a little mint into it oh i was gonna say what's this leaf floating in it I <laughs> it's mint oh <laughs> Did I tell you what this drink was called? It was called poncha. Did I yeah, say that poncha. already? Poncha. Poncha. I want to say it with an accent. Poncha. So go pour yourself a poncha. And if you don't have aguardiente, you can use rub for poncha. Mm. <laughs> I like the accent. It won't really have the black licorice taste to it. No, it would be totally different. Or the cachaca would work too. Just say poncha. <gasps> cha cha cha. And then just do something with your shoulders. A little yes, shoulder shimmy. And that's the accent. Yeah. <laughs> it's a shoulder <laughs> accent. Yeah, it's not the way you speak. It's the way you carry yourself. That's right. A little cleavage doesn't hurt either. That's right. There you go. Colombian. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cheers, ladies. Cheers. I liked it. It's gone. Mm -hmm. So clearly I liked it. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. You can find these recipes under the Speakeasy tab on 3kitchenspodcast.com. Ponchas Portuguese. Aguardiente is oh. Colombian. I would never attempt any Portuguese. <laughs> I just cannot. <laughs> <laughs>